welcome to day of computer programming and numerical methods so in the previous classes i have explained about gauss elimination method gauss jordan method and gauss seidel method so today i will explain uh, interpolation method that is called a lagrange interpolation so check the example problem 5.22 using lagrange's formula calculate uh, f of 3 from the following table so here this is the table x equal to 0 1 2 4 5 and 6 f of x 1 14 15 5 6 and 19 so you have to calculate what is the value of f of 3 that is the uh, that is the question from the following table so first you have to write the given data so the given data are this this is x0 x0 is equal to 0 x1 is equal to 1 this is x2 x2 is equal to 2 x3 is equal to 4 x4 is equal to 5 and x5 is equal to 6 then this is so this is x0 so th that means this is y0 so this is y0 y0 is equal to 1 y1 is equal to 14 y2 is equal to 15 y3 is equal to 5 y4 is equal to 6 and y5 is equal to 19 so first you have to write this x0 2 x0 x1 x2 x3 x4 and x5 y0 y y3 y4 and y5 then the next step is you have to write the lagrange's formula okay so when you write the lagrange's formula so check the number of times how many how many number of times one uh, check the number of times one two three four five and six okay so when you write the lagrange's formula so here you can see the first line okay so one uh, this is two this is three this is four this is five and this is six okay so six parts you can see so how many uh, data's one two three four five and six so in the lagrange's equation so this is the first part second three third fourth five and six okay then how to write this equation so check the first line so first line is x minus x1 into x minus x2 like that x minus x3 x minus x4 x minus x5 okay so you have to remove x0 in the numerator so x0 means that is the first term x minus x you have to remove x0 for the first term the remaining terms are x1 x2 x3 x4 and x5 so the numerator is x minus x1 x minus x2 x minus x3 x minus x4 and x minus x5 then the denominator okay so x0 x0 is the first term x0 minus x1 then x0 minus x2 x0 minus x3 x0 minus x4 x0 minus x5 okay multiplied with the first y0 y what is y0 y0 is equal to 1 okay so this is the first term so similarly then the you have to write the second term plus after writing the first term you have to write the symbol plus plus the second term so second term means the numerator is you have to remove the uh, the second term so which one is the second term x1 you have to remove x1 so x minus x0 then x minus x2 so there there will be no x minus x1 so x minus x2 x minus x3 x minus x4 x minus x5 divided by the denominator so denominator means the second term the second term is x1 so x1 minus x0 x1 minus x2 x1 minus x3 x1 minus x4 x1 minus x5 into y1 okay plus the third term okay so the numerator is same you have to remove the x2 term okay x minus x0 x minus x1 then check x minus x2 there is no x minus x2 into x minus x3 x minus x4 x minus x5 divided by the second term okay what is x0 x1 x2 so denominator is x2 minus x0 x2 minus x1 x2 minus x3 x2 minus x4 x2 minus x5 into the next term is y2 plus similarly i hope uh, you uh, un you understand the 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 idea to write this equation so x minus x0 x minus x1 x minus x2 so you have to remove the x x minus x3 term okay then x minus x4 x minus x5 divided by okay x3 minus x0 x3 minus x1 x3 minus x2 x3 minus x4 x3 minus x5 into y3 plus the next equation numerator 
x minus x0, x minus x1, x minus x2, x minus x3. So you have to remove x minus x4 into x minus x5 divided by x4 minus x0, x4 minus x1, x4 minus x2, x4 minus x3 and x4 minus x5 multiplied with y4 plus the last term again check the numerator x minus x0, x minus x1, x minus x2, x minus x3 and x minus x4. So you have to remove the last term that is x minus x5 divided by x5 minus x0, x5 minus x1, x5 minus x2, x5 minus x3, x5 minus x4 multiplied with the y5. Okay. So this is the uh, this is the method to write the uh, Lagrange's formula. Then after that you have to substitute the values of x0, x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, y0, y1, y2, y3, y4 and y5 to this equation. Substitute the equation and you have to solve this equation. When you solve this equation you will get the answer as 10. y3 is equal to 10. Okay, I hope it's clear. Then another example. So check another example. Yeah. So here using Lagrange's interpolation formula find the value corresponding to x is equal to 10 from the following table okay so here you can see the table uh, x 5 x, the value of x is 5 6 9 11 and the value of y is 12 13 14 and 16 you have to find the value corresponding to x is equal to 10 from the following table so here how many here check the number of times 1 2 3 and 4 so when you write the lagrange's equation then the the the, the parts how many uh, uh, parts in the lagrange's equation so this is the first part okay 1 2 3 4 you can see four parts okay so here how many number of times check the number of times 1 2 3 4 okay so you have to remember this then here you can see uh, you first you have to write the numerator so numerator is like this but uh, numerator is x minus so same way so you have first you have to remove the x0 first term x0 so x minus x1 into x minus x2 into so here you can see x minus x1 into x minus x2 into x minus x3 divided by the first the first value is x0 so x0 minus x1 x0 minus x2 x0 minus x3 multiplied with the y0 plus then then uh, you have to remove uh, in the numerator you have to remove the x minus x1 term so x minus x0 multiplied with x minus x2 x minus x3 divided by new uh, denominator is x1 minus x0 x1 minus x2 x1 minus x3 multiplied with the y1 plus next term x minus x0 x minus x1 you have to remove x minus x2 then multiplied with the x minus x3 denominator is x2 minus x0, x2 minus x1, x2 minus x3 multiplied with the y2 plus the last term x minus x0, x minus x1 and x minus x2 divided by x3 minus x0, x3 minus x1, x3 minus x2 multiplied with the y3. Then you have to substitute the the values in the, the in this equation. So the value of x is equal to, so x is given, the value of x equal to 10. So the first value, this is x0, so x0 is equal to 5, this is x1. 6 is equal to 6 x2 is equal to 9 x3 is equal to 11 so this is y0 y0 is equal to 12 y1 is equal to 13 y2 is equal to 14 and y3 is equal to 16 so you have to substitute all these values in this equation and finally you will get the value as 14.63 okay so this is the method in lagrange's interpolation formula so here this is another equation find the equation so here you you have to find the equation okay of the parabola passing through the points so here you can see three points 0 0 1 1 and 2 20 using lagrange's formula so first you have to write the table so the value of x is uh, 0 1 2 so right here 0 1 2 then value of y is 0 1 20 0 1 20 okay you have to write this 0 1 20 uh, uh, then you, you can write what is the value of x0 0, 0 x1 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 2 then y0 is equal to 0 and y1 is equal to 1 and y2 is equal to 20 so you first you have to write the Lagrange's equation so when you write Lagrange's equation how many uh, parts will be there so here check the number of values in the table 1 2 3 so in the equation you can see this is the first part plus this is the second part plus this is the third part okay so you know how to write the lagrange's equation then you have to substitute the values of x0 x1 x2 y0 y1 y2 to this equation and you will get finally you will get the equation so y is equal to 9x square plus 8x okay so you have to do this in your notebook 
then another one uh, so here you can see uh, using lagrange's formula fit a polynomial to the data x y values given also find y at x is equal to 2 so what is the value of y at x is equal to 2 so when you write the lagrange's equation so you know uh, the number of parts so here check the num the data in the table 1 2 3 and 4 so when you write the equation lagrange's equation it consists of four parts okay four parts okay so you have to solve this this uh, this problem in your notebook 5.19 so the answer is 4 the answer is 4 then uh, another example yeah 5.23 so again this is another example the value of x is given so the log 10x the value of log 10x is given uh, compute the value of log uh, 10 323.5 okay by using Lagrange's interpolation formula so first you have to write this this table then you have to write the values of x uh, x0 x1 x2 and x3 then y0 y1 y2 and y3 then uh, uh, write the Lagrange's equation okay number of times 1 2 3 and 4 so like the uh, write the Lagrange's equation 1 2 3 and 4 substitute uh, the values in this equation and you will get the value of log 10 323.5 is equal to 2.50987 okay so this is called a Lagrange's interpolation there is another method that is called inverse interpolation so uh, uh, the process is actually same so there is a uh, small uh, difference in the equation so here you can see find the value of x so you have to find the value of x when y is equal to 85 so in the previous problem you can see what is the value of okay so here i will show you what is the value of find the value corresponding to x is equal to 10 so corresponding to x is equal to 10 what is the value of y so in inverse interpolation in inverse interpolation find the value of x when y is equal to 85 okay when y is equal to 85 what is the equation find the value of x using lagrange's formula so this is the table x is equal to 2 5 8 14 y 94.8 87.9 81.3 and 68.7 and here you can see you have to find the value of x what is the value of y y is equal to 85 so you have to write the uh, values so the first value is x0 this is x0 this is x1 this is x2 and this is x3 and this is y0 this is y1 this is y2 and this is y3 and the value of y is equal to 85 so write the Lagrange's inverse formula you have to write the uh, inverse Lagrange's inverse inverse formula so x is equal to same the numerator is y minus y1 into y minus y2 into y minus y3 divided by y0 minus y1 y0 minus y2 y0 minus y3 multiplied with x0 x0 okay plus okay so here you can see yeah plus the second time y minus y0 you have to remove y minus y1 y minus y0 into y minus y2 y minus y3 divided by so y1 minus y0 y1 minus y2 y1 minus y3 multiplied with the x1 plus okay third time is y minus y0 y minus y1 so you have to remove y minus y2 okay y minus y3 divided by denominator is y2 minus y0 y2 minus y1 y2 minus y3 multiplied with the x2 plus the last term is y minus y0 y minus y1 and y minus y2 so you have to remove y minus y3 divided by the denominator is y3 minus y0 y3 minus y1 y3 minus y2 multiplied with the x3 so you have to substitute all these values in this equation and you will get the value of x when y is equal to 85 is 6.63038 okay so again another example so here you can see uh, number of uh, datas 1 2 3 4 5 so when you write the lagrange's in inverse interpolation formula it consists of 1 2 3 4 5 parts so here you can see this is the first part plus this is the second part this is the third part fourth part and fifth part okay so you know how to write the lagrange's inverse formula okay so x is equal to uh, as I explained you have to write this equation then substitute all these all the values all the this table values into this equation and you will get the value of x as 97.655 okay then I will check the uh, university question papers okay so I will be 
S5 Mechanical Mechanical Engineering Semester 5 So December 2019 I will check any questions from Lagrange's okay so here yeah so here you can see uh, question number 10 uh, sorry question, uh, question number 10 using Lagrange's formula find the values of uh, y x uh, if y1 is equal to 4 y3 is equal to 120 y4 is equal to 340 and y5 is equal to 2544 if y minus 30 is equal to 30 y minus 12 is equal to 34 y3 is equal to 38 and y18 is equal to 42 okay so this is one one problem and the marks is actually 10 marks so just try okay yeah there is no other question then i will check another one goes elimination goes jordan yeah lagrange's formula you can see uh, april 2018 uh, question number 11 marks 10 marks using lagrange's formula find the value of y at x is equal to 6 from the following data x equal to 3 7 9 10 y 168 120 72 and 63 okay you have to solve this yeah another question okay december 2018 december 2018 uh, goes cdel yeah there is no question okay another another one here there is no okay so no question then another one goes elimination Eitken's method you must see plus plus program straight line correlation coefficient finite difference yeah so with this uh, uh, I will stop this so I hope uh, the uh, Lagrange's uh, in, uh, interpolation formula and inverse interpolation formula so you have to uh, do this in your notebook and then you have to uh, take the photographs of this uh, your your notes and you have to uh, submit to me as a PDF document okay so thank you